Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with another episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, Week 180. Now, we haven't had an episode of the Top 5 Plays for quite a few weeks, and that's simply because people haven't really been submitting clips. We've got a really, really good episode this week, but if you want this series to keep going, make sure to go and send them in. Now coming in at number 5, we've got Nexa Legacy CAE, and he's on Air of the Tomb Ilum Pro using the G36E. He's gonna do a nice jump over the enemy's head, take him out for the first kill, and now he's looking for some more. He gets a double, reloads his weapon, and there is simply just a general of the army, randomly looking off into the distance, a very easy kill for him. Gets the ultra kill as well, and he's starting to go and build up an accolade. Goes to his side of the map, picks up the Fantastic, reloads his G36E, but cancels it, goes for the USP, gets the unbelievable, Finishes the G36E reload and picks up the last kill for a very nice accolade. Sadly, the timer runs out for the unbelievable plus, but regardless, a really, really nice clip. Now coming in at number 4, we have got Energy Dream HD on Short Fuse SD using the G36E Autumn in a 1v6 scenario. So he's hiding in these boxes, just trying to go and find an enemy that will go and peek out. He finds one, goes and takes him out, goes outside the boxes, gets a double, gets the multi. All the enemies have been swarming him, but now he's got to go and play down a little bit, try to go and find some picks. He goes and finds one enemy and he goes and finds another as well, just firing away, tapping away, goes and gets a double. Now down to a 1v1. One, a minute 45 on the clock. How's it gonna go and end? And he goes and gets kicked. A very, very sad ending to an absolutely fantastic setup. Now coming in at the bonus spot, we've got AG Risk HD on Kill Creek using the Super Magnum. He jumps off, does a bit of a 360, then goes back and I don't know, that kill was so random, but I had to go and bring back the bonus spot just for that clip. Now coming in at number 3, we have got Ice Stimulate on Hell's Gate Quarantine Region in a 1v10 scenario. He's gonna go and drop a nade and gets a fantastic. He's gonna go and drop a couple more nades, a couple more mines. He's gonna go straight to an unbelievable plus 2. Now down to 1v1, he's got that singular mine. He's gonna go and look at this. <laughs> he goes and baits the infected right on top of it, the biggest BM possible. And he goes and pulls out the win, which is absolutely fantastic. Now coming in at the number 2 spot, we have got Zyded Gaming on Air of the Tomb, Ilum Pru in a 1v8 scenario. Now I don't like including many melee only clips, but this clip is absolutely insane. Alright, so it was a 1v8 and with that kill he goes and drops it down to a 1v7, but the enemies are swarming him and he only has 18 HP. He's going just... Cup, just pulling out a couple swipes with the tracker knife, trying to go and get another kill. And thankfully, with that kill, he goes and picks up a HP pack, so he's now back up to 100 HP. He goes and gets a double on his way out, and he's just baiting enemies over to, an other, to the other side of the map, trying to go and take them on one by one. And with that, he gets two more kills and another HP pack. Really, really nice to keep his HP at the highest level possible. And he just keeps on killing people. This is really, really insane. And now it's down to a 1v2, and the enemy are on the defensive now, but he's just going on the offensive 1v1 scenario. Where is the last person to go and make this an ace? Well, he's on the other side of the map. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. He's going back to the tomb, just going back and forth, back and forth, trying to go and find out what his last really annoying enemy may be. And he is right in front of him. He puts out a couple swipes. He's down to 34 HP. And by the skin of his teeth, he goes and pulls off the absolutely insane clutch. But coming in at number one, the clip that goes and beats them all is Requiem HD on Junk Fleet One Man Army using the LNA 6A1 and the LNA 6A1 Gilly. And oh my god, I'm gonna go and channel my inner DJ Carly today because this clip is gonna be ridiculous. He goes and gets the unbelievable and he's gonna go and get the unbelievable plus. But we need another one. We need another one. And there it is. We need another one. Looking for it. There's a fantastic quick scope. We need another one. But he goes and dies. But he respawns. And then he gets another one because Nexon's game is ridiculously broken when it comes to the instant respawns and accolades. And he goes and gets another one. But let's go and ditch that cameo. Let's go back there. Unbelievables. Another unbelievable plus. And he's just right in the middle of the map, just quick scoping, hard scoping, whatever you want to go and call it. That person tanks it, but he goes and gets it on the second shot, and people are just rushing him. He picks up another kill, he picks up another one, and he goes and eventually dies. But overall, that was an unbelievable plus 10. Absolutely insane. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Combat Arms Top 5 Plays of the Week, please go and leave a like rating, leave a comment, leave whatever. But also go and submit your clips for week 181. We're running a little bit low. And they're going to top it up with some extra 
fresh, juicy, spicy combat arms clips would be absolutely insane. So hopefully guys enjoyed this. But other than that, Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Out.